everyone welcome back to my channel this is my first vlog of 2020 i can't believe it's a new decade already so with that in mind i've decided that i want to change things a little about me so it's about time i started looking after myself as you may see slightly differently from my other vlogs I haven't redecorated my office I've moved house and all of that is part of giving myself a bit of a more chilled um, lifestyle if we like so um, in this vlog I am going to be talking about what I'm going to be doing over the year but mainly it's going to be about weight loss about the foods that I'm going to try and eat um, and about the exercise that I want to do as well um, so first off, my title of this, over 40 and overweight, it sucks. So I think in the last year I've probably put on a stone and a half. I was already overweight to begin with um, and so now I am really overweight. So I need to change the way that I'm eating. I was eating lots of chocolate, eating lots of crisps, thinking, ah, oh, I won't worry about weight loss until I move house. And then the house move took ages to go through. Um, so here I am, fat. <laughs> um, so in terms of the things that I'm gonna try or that I have tried in the past, I've tried Weight Watchers, I've tried Slimming World, I've tried the Keto Diet, I've tried pretty much every diet apart from the Cabbage Soup Diet. And the only reason I didn't try that is because I didn't want to fart a lot. <laughs> Apparently you meant to fart a lot of it. So yeah, I wasn't really interested in doing that. Let me just mute to this for a minute. There we go, no more dings. Um, so, yeah, I've tried a lot of things in the past and I think the last five or six years, yeah, five and a half years, I've worked from home. So that means that I've been able to go down the fridge whenever I want and get whatever I want out of that, nip down to the shop. I mean, I am out and about with my job as well, a lot in London, um, you know, and even when I'm out and about, I'm literally just grabbing something off the shelf, a quick wrap or something here. So I really need to start thinking about what I'm eating when I'm out and about as well. Um, so what I have decided to do, and I kind of used it on and off last year, is I decided that I was going to try and use my fitness pal, um, which is an app you can get on Android or on um, um, iOS, Apple. So I've had this now for... I think I got it in March last year and I paid the $39.99 to upgrade to the, um, I guess, the more, the ad-free version and you get more content on it. So my fitness pal is pretty good um, in terms of, you can see a lot on there, you probably actually can't see a lot on there, but um, I can try and find a link for it and put, put it into it below. But it's great at counting your calories um, and it's got the quick barcode scanner. So if you haven't got time to sit there and add through all the different carbs, protein, fiber, calories, the rest of it, it's all on there. You can literally just tap the barcode um, and it will take a picture of the barcode using the camera on your phone and then everything automatically in there. You just need to make sure that you watch out for the portion sizes on it because sometimes it'll only do for the 100 grams. Whatever's been programmed into that barcode, it'll do. Um, so I've been using that. It's tracking my exercise, um, which I have through my Apple Watch. I'm afraid I'm an Apple fan. My husband hates it, but... There we go. Um, so I've been using my fitness pal and instead of doing all these fad diets, like I said before, I tried the keto diet, which is really popular and it did work for me. I lost nine pounds, I think in one, maybe a month or two. Um, but what I found with the keto diet was it's a lot of meal prep. You can't just grab stuff because everything is so restricted. And I don't know about you, but I'm really not good with diets that restrict me too much. Um, so I've just decided to stick to a calorie count, which is 1,200 a day. But all you're doing, in essence, in a diet, if you want to lose weight, then you have to be running at, if you like, a loss for the day. So if you, women's normal calorie count for the day, to stay at an even weight to maintain is 2,000 calories. And if you want to drop that, 
So if you want to use, lose one to two pounds a week, then you need to be looking at between 1,000 and 1,200 calories a day. So I'm trying 1,200 calories a day because I don't want to restrict myself so much that I then feel that I can't eat things that I like. Um, and for me, variety is good. Um, and I have a really, a really insatiable sweet tooth. So that, again, doesn't help. And that's why put a load of weight on and um, but uh, that has got to stop so in the background you may see I have bought a spin bike and that's because last year before I injured my foot I really enjoyed going to spin at the gym I did have a look at um, getting one of those peloton bikes but wow are they expensive I think it was like £1200 for the bike and then you have to pay a subscription of £40 a month for the classes that you can do online so I thought there's plenty of different um, spin classes that I've found on YouTube so I'm going to try those out um and see how i get on with those i just need to set the bike up properly for me so in terms of where the saddle is the height of it where it is in relation to your handlebars moving the handlebars up or down so that it suits me properly and i would say that's one of the key things that you do but again i'm going to use youtube for that so uh, i know there is some uh i've downloaded to my watch later list um one on how to set it up so i'm going to try that um one of the other things that I have been trying as well is the 2020 challenge um, from the YouTube channel Blogilates. So it's Pilates, but it's done via blog or vlog. Uh, and I think the lady's name is Cassie, I think I want to say. Um, and she's set up um, a set of 2020 challenges for, it's hers for January, but I guess you can do it for any time that you want to in the year but you just have to be consistent with it so it's two reps or two sets of 20 reps of two different exercises a day so it takes three to four minutes a do to do and it's for the first 20 days of january but like i say you can do that any 20 days in a row um and you're supposed to obviously do them every day every day in succession that's not really worked for me so far most of the days i've been able to do it but there's been one day where I've had to double up on three exercises or triple up on three exercises, three days exercises. And then um, there's also been a couple of days where I've had to do double. And one of those is going to be today. So once I've finished recording this vlog, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and so I'm going to share with you some of the things that I'm eating and that I'm cooking. I have found with my shopping that i'm doing so my grocery shop i am eating a lot more veg than i was before i have really have cut the chocolate back so i haven't had any chocolate for two weeks which for a chocoholic like me hasn't actually been that bad you might surprise yourself if you try it yourself and cut something out that you would normally eat or cut down on it um doesn't actually seem to be that bad so i must be doing the right thing in terms of eating healthily and getting the nutrients that I need and the vitamins and the minerals etc so um, one of the things that I have been trying as well um, in cooking is trying some different recipes and my husband got me this book for Christmas and it is the quick roasting tin and it's actually really good so the idea is that you can whack everything in a roasting tin and um, all the dishes take probably about half an hour to do and that's with um, prep and the actual cooking included so I have made what have I made so far so I've made a nice prawn curry I've made like a, um, a beef stir fry from it I've tried we've tried a tuna dish from it as well and prior to the other night when I ate the tuna dish I haven't liked tuna before and I think it's because it smells so bad when you take it out of the tin but this was actually tuna steaks instead so um, I surprised myself and I actually don't mind tuna but obviously it needs to be tuna steaks for me because I'm a bit fussy um, in terms of other things I'm going to be trying I shall be trying um, some like I say my spinning I want to get back into yoga and 
I love doing my cooking. I'm gonna have to watch out what I eat when I'm out and about. Um, but again, I'll show you that. I'll show you what the options are. I have found this week that um, Pret or Pret a Manger do a nice, um, what is it, chicken broccoli and brown rice soup. And that's really low in calories. I think it's something like 126 calories um, for the soup or it might be a little bit more, um, and Heinz minestrone soup, now that is 126 and that's for the whole can, so that's great if you're out and about, or not out and about, if you're at home and you want some minestrone soup. Um, you can always invest, I guess, in one of these, shameless plug for the company that I work for, um, but you know, one of these bottles that keeps things hot and cold, so you could always have that an option so i might try that one day although i don't think i'll try it with my water bottle i think i may have to get another one of those and put the soup in it um and another thing that you or i find is essential for when i'm wanting to lose weight is to set myself an achievable goal um and also have that stretching target but separate it down into small chunks so small little goals at a time to work my way along um, and so my first goal is to lose half a stone by the end of January so far after one week of doing the diet I am four and a half pounds down so I've only got two and a half to go <laughs> um, so um, in terms of motivation you really do need to be in the mindset to lose weight otherwise you'll just fail and you'll make yourself feel worse and then you'll end up putting on more probably than what you uh, started out at, at the end or at the beginning anyway. So one of my motivations is that I have a very good friend of mine that's getting married in July in Turkey and we've just booked our flights and villa over there so we shall be going to see her get married and I do not want to be the size I am now or the weight that I am now when I get out there I would love to be a size 12 by then I'm a kind of size 16 on top and 18 on the bottom at the moment which is shocking for me the moment I tip that that scale if you like and went into a size 18 I was like oh I don't like it so yeah that was a big motivation for me um, and also seeing some pictures of a recent holiday that I took with my husband and my face just looks round I don't like the round so uh, yes I will be getting a move on getting things done making sure that I'm being accountable to myself tracking my calories and everything that I that enters and passes my lips will go on to my fitness pal um, so yeah that's kind of where I'm at at the moment um, I know that I need to take measurements as well so I know I've already lost a couple of inches or so around my waist um, and that's in just under two weeks so you'd be surprised at how much of a difference you can see straight away um, but yeah I want to to come along uh, and enjoy or enjoy me on my journey join me on my journey what I'm on about <laughs> so anyway I will take you through some of the things that I'm doing to lose weight and please uh, comment below with anything that you would like me maybe to have a look at try out um, I'm open to most things to be honest so I will see you next week I'm aiming to upload every Sunday evening um, so make sure you check back and if you like what you're hearing and what you're seeing then click the uh, subscriber or subscribe to my channel um, and hit the bell to, for notifications so you can see when I'm on and when I'm next uploaded. uploaded. I will be uploading some other vlogs. I will be doing um, an update as well on my anxiety and depression so I'll have another short vlog that I do for that one so it's been probably coming up to a year now I think since I did my last vlog on that I have got a whole series of other vlogs on anxiety and depression which I'll link in the description below if you want to have a look at those too um, but for now I'm sure I've garbled on enough but um, I hope to see you soon bye